Miguel Encenias, one of New Mexico's most decorated combat veterans, who also distinguished himself as a scholar and advocate for veterans, was laid to rest Friday morning during funeral services with military honors at the Santa Fe National Cemetery. Father Miguel has gone to his rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome him to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope in eternal life, let us assist him with our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord also for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with Miguel. Described as a humble man who never had much to say, Encinius was born the youngest of 16 children in Las Vegas, New Mexico. After the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, he rushed out to become a military flyer. It was the first of three wars in which he would fight. In the mid-1990s, President Bill Clinton asked Insinius to serve on the World War II Memorial Advisory Board to help build the World War II Memorial in Washington, D.C. When that memorial finally opened in 2004, Insinius was the only living member of the board to attend the ceremony the where he spoke. he retired in 1971, he had served in uniform for 33 years, fought in three wars, World War II, Korea, and Vietnam was shot down twice, over Italy and then over Korea. Flew a total of 245 combat missions. Received three distinguished flying crosses, 14 air medals, and two Purple Hearts. And so, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you this distinguished military officer, this great patriot, this great American. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Colonel Miguel Encinas. Thank you very much, General Shelly Kashvili. Encinius retired from the Air Force as a lieutenant colonel in 1971, and he returned to New Mexico, where he earned a doctorate in Spanish literature at the University of New Mexico. He also wrote several books, including one based on the life of Spanish explorer Don Juan de Oñate. Encinius's daughter once said that he lived two lives, one in the military and one afterward. I just wanted to convey what a, what a strong and compassionate man he was. He was nothing but tough, but at the same time, he could be the most compassionate and giving person that I've ever met. That's something I'll carry with me forever. And though a cold wind blew over the funeral procession Friday morning, it actually stopped once the military bugler began to play taps. <laughs> 